from you. You're going to keep long hair, but before we actually talk about the hair, I want you to stand up. So I can just have a look at your shoulders, your shape. What a fabulous height you've got. See, I should eat more soup when I was a little boy. <laughs> it would have been tall as well. Right, what you're going to do is we're going to have volume on the back and volume on the top. And I think it looks fabulous with your height. So sit down for a minute. And just see how much volume you can get there. I think we need to do a little bit of perming, you don't mind, just on the top, root perming. We use that together with your old perm, and I should give a lovely, sexy new look, and you will look like a real fabulous, elegant, and sexy girl afterwards. Okay? <laughs> We're going to neutralize the hair now, and here I'm going to start cutting. Taking my first section, and here's the graphic for my first cut point. Taking a section up, in a 45 degree angle, leaving the hair maximum length on the crown. That is cut point one. It is not easy to cut hair that length, but it's very important to have strong tension on each section in order that the cutting line is clean and accurate. If you find that the gland is tall, maybe you can have a chair where she could sit lower in order that you can get to the haircut easily. Taking the back section up here and checking it in with the hair from the temple line here to make sure that it's not going to be too short because that's got to check in there. The temple sides there are going to stay almost the length as they are now. You will see later on in the cut how important that was. I'm just marking it here with the scissors where to cut, it's just like a marker here. Pulling the hair to it. You see how difficult it is to take all this long hair and cut. combing the sections two or three times until you have all the hair very nice and clean in this line. Bending the fingers up in a 45 degree angle like this and check again you can't check it off with long hair like this. And here we see the side view of the cut point, pulling the hair up to it. This is still cut point one. Taking sections, not too thin because the hair is quite long, and as I said early on in the video, on longer hair you can take thicker sections showing the hairline from the previous section very clearly. Coming to my second last section on this side, you can see the hairline from the previous cut very clear there. Because in longer hair, the hair always gets a bit thinner on the ends. And taking the last section in here, nice and clean, very neat. And you see a cut on the back there and the front, there's basically nothing to be cut there. We go on the other side now. Check in the length, pulling it forward. You can see the bell shape there. I usually get the model to stand up. 
in order to cut this line perfectly. And here we continue the back section which forms still cut point one but it's an extension of cut point one. Taking the section just on the ground and below the ground, pulling it up as you can see here, fingers up and elbow up. In cutting you have to move your body, your arms, your fingers in the direction of cutting so you are comfortable and the gland naturally too. Always explain to the gland what you're doing so she feels happier about having her hair cut. I'm pulling the sections now up on the back and tucking the hair behind the ears there, spraying it with water, taking quite large sections into it now. Pulling them to the center line again. Elbow right up. Stretched fingers. And again here. You see the tension in the hair, although the hair is very long, a strong tension there. Just a little bit more there, pulling the fingers up.